Hello the internet. Real quick video today. Recently I won a new folding knife in a, in a local drawing. I'm going to do a little review on it here. We happen to be out in the beautiful Redwood Forest, uh, Humboldt State National Forest. And what I'm reviewing today is a Cricut Crawford Casper. Now, for comparison, because this isn't one that I've seen around as much, and this is one that a lot of people have seen, this is my Hammond Cruiser. Now, just in the overall size, they're, they're very similar in length. There's a lot more thick or a lot more depth to the Crawford. Now this is not a flipper, so it's a, it's you got to use a thumb stud, and I'm not real good at thumb studs because I've been using my flipper for the last several years. Again, blade length they're exactly the same, 3.875, yeah, 3.875. Blade geometry is quite a bit different does have a really nice grind on it. It's a nice even grind. It came really sharp out of the box. And can you put that up closer? The centering on it straight out of the box is really nice. That being said, it is a very useful and a very handy size knife. I like it a lot. There is one thing on this that I am going to say I'm really not happy with. And it surprises me because I've had such good luck with not just my Hammond Cruiser, but my other crickets that I have multiple of. But the way they put the liner lock on this is just slightly above, actually bring that up to the camera again, is just slightly above the scales. And I have really big hands. Now I had two other people try it. And they said it didn't bite them very much, but I have really big hands. My finger completely fills that cutout. So when I'm grabbing that real tight, that's poking the corner that's poking me right in the finger a little bit. So I'm going to ding it on that, that, that I would prefer that not be that way. Other than that, now I have used this knife a little bit. Where's some sticks I asked you to get? Right here. Can, can you, like, give me this much of it? Fine. Hey, this ain't supposed to come out till later, but here. We are a highly organized, professional level production value uh, videography company here. But just back to this knife it the it's very tight there's absolutely no wobble in it at all you saw how good the I've centering was when it's locked there is no motion in it at all and it does have crickets little secondary lock it makes it so you cannot accidentally unlock it which is really good since that sticks up so much it would be a lot easier to hit than one of my other crickets would be but it's got a very nice solid feel to it overall it's light as hell this actually weighs less than my Hammond Cruiser does boy you done lost your mind what were you doing removing that chunk that you asked for yeah but generally you take the mask all the way off I wasn't being able to figure it out it's not my fault yes it is now, this is a folder. You're not going to be doing I'm heavy doing... bushcrafting tasks with this, but as just an everyday knife, I mean, that is sharp as hell. It is really biting into that wood with almost it? no effort, but I'm also being able to get pretty good. Okay, so you did just thin. slide it all the way down. Look how thin that is. I mean, that's... So it is just slide it all the way off of it this way. But when I want to bite real good, man, that is really doing the job. It's snowing. 
The rappers make it rain, bushcrafters make it snow. <laughs> but just as a little quick tabletop review on this, I have used this a little bit. Like I said, because of that, I'm not going to carry this all the time. But I am going to be putting this in one of my kits because it's a really good quality folding knife. Fairly decent sized blade. And other than that one little thing with the, fit, with the uh, I mean, when it's closed, you can see it really well. The way that comes up there and it bites my finger a little bit. If it wasn't for that, I would probably replace my my Hammond Cruiser with that is my EDC blade. Right there. I really like the way it cuts. I really like the, the blade geometry. I could get used to using the thumb stud instead of a flipper. But I'm already used to using a thumb stud because that's what's on mine. But that's really I mean I I could do notching and stuff with this if I wanted to. I just, for actual bushcrafting stuff, I don't like to use a folder. But if I needed to make a tent peg real quick, if I needed to do something, you know, for any general cutting, this is an extremely well-made knife. I'll just board slicing. So this is the Crawford Casper from Cricut. Now, because this is, an, this is a really short video, I wanted to throw a couple of things on here that are too small for their own video. And because I really don't think a two and a half minute video is worth putting up. The first one is I've been using these for years. I know a lot of people use these, a lot of people know about them. I like the ones that have the screw down, not the slide, because they're a lot more secure. For some reason lately, my entire county, you cannot find these that look like this. They all have the slide. Until last week, and I'm only showing this because it made me laugh. And I, I, I got 10 of these just so that I could have them because they made me laugh. They're sharks. <laughs> Not sure how well they could see that. I'm going to bring it up. Oh, the videos I'm doing today might be a little bit on the dark side. It's not because I'm shooting them at night. It's because I'm shooting them under a canopy of redwoods. And while it is extremely sunny over there, not so much here. But this is a much nicer backdrop than like... That's why the lighting is also the changing road. somewhat through the video. But yeah, they, they made these. It's got a nice big hole to put your, your rope through or whatever. And it's got the screw down like I like, and the teeth are aggressive as hell. But for those of you who haven't used these before, I'm just going to use, this is actually my camp towel. I'm just using it on this table to make it nice. But you can put these on your tarp wherever you need to have cooperation. Don't come around me because I just don't get any. Wherever you need to secure your tarp out, you can put these down there and it, it's instant grommet but I don't I've used the ones that have the slide and they are not secure they do not hold it in any kind of wind they slip they just fall off I like the screw top but nowadays they, they, they these are hard to find so I got me a whole bunch of our sharks and I'm just being silly showing that but what I other thing I wanted to bring out real quick while we were talking about knives Something that I have in, this is for my emergency kit in my vehicle. And I'm going to be doing a video once I get it completely put together. I'm using a man's Tupperware to make my emergency kit for my vehicle. <laughs> but a lot of times when you're in an emergency situation, whether it be... Now, where I live, it's 20 miles between towns and it's 20 miles a windy road with landslides, washouts, river crossings on bridges that may go bad. There's a million and one reasons why driving from one town to another, I may not get there and I might be stuck for a while before I get help. And my emergency kit is going to be centered 
largely around that. And a lot of times in those circumstances, yes, you may have a very nice fixed blade knife with you and you don't want to screw that blade up. You want to have something that you can cut uh, quick and dirty. And I found this knife many years ago and I love it. It's, it's a stand, it's made by Stanley and it's got the regular little slide out razor blade knife on it. And for and it's it's also a quick release on that. So when you pull it out, push the button, they come out. And put the new one in. Make sure it locks. Make sure it locks. And then it goes back. What I really like about this one, and you have to push this button, and it's got a little folding knife on it that's. For more aggressive stuff than the uh, razor blade will do. And if you don't know about the having to push the thumb stud down, you'll watch uh, your adopted sister playing with it for like an hour trying to open it. <laughs> yeah, that was that was funny. But what I do like about this one is it is a liner lock, so you do have some safety. When it's closed, like he was trying to say, it will not open unless you depress that and actually push the liner lock out of the way. And in the little sheath it comes with... I don't think she ever got it open though. <laughs> it has a case that will hold 10 more razor blades and I've actually refilled this a couple of times off of my 100 pack because buying the razor blades in 100 packs is a lot cheaper. But this is just real quick from my emergency vehicle kit this Anamora should take care of 90 percent of what I'm gonna need because I'm putting my kit up for that trying to drive from one town to the next and didn't get there just like anything else what I'm saying here is my opinion if you disagree with me that's great I love it when people disagree with me if they have reasons for it but there's no reason to get mad at me so this is something that I just was bringing to people's attention. They may not have known. And I wanted to make the video about the cricket because I really was surprised with, with the way the liner lock on that bites into my finger. And that's something I really don't expect from a cricket. Okay. One more thing. These videos are kind of scatterbrained on which topic we're on. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like my video, give me two thumbs up. <laughs> and don't forget subscribing. Subscribing is good. If you hate me, subscribing is the perfect way to make sure you get to see every single time I do something. So you can sit there and go, I hate him. <laughs> you can't do that if you don't know I've got videos coming out. So you need to subscribe so you know how to hate me. Have fun, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>